Hello and good evening everyone, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to episode 426 of Mochi Monsters by Feet. Now before we get started though, I have sad news to say, this week's Wednesday Bedtime Premiere on the Mochi Monsters my Bonus app is a uh, meditation. Oh no. Ultimate Mochi Reading Fall Asleep Meditation isn't even a meditation, so that means unfortunately there will be no Mochi Sleep Story reactions this week. I'm sorry about the people, but I will rant to it in a future series. Called Moshi Meditation Rants, as well as a, as well as a separate series for for Moments called Moshi Mode Raves. Keep your eyes peeled for these episodes coming up. Keep your eyes peeled for these two series coming soon, very very soon. So don't be sad. But now let's get ready for today's episode, shall we? Yeah, again, no more Moshi Sleep Reactions this week, so I'll have to sell it for next week. So sorry, about people. But yeah, back to the video. We got another character to take a look at, brighter as it could be, high up in the sky. So let's get started. Welcome to episode four hundred twenty-six today. It's about the Moshi Sun. I can't believe, guys. What you're about to see is absolutely out of this world, and boy, it's gonna be amazing. So yes, this should be pretty. This should be a pretty good one. And you have to see episode 425, where what's about the Moshi Monsters? I gave them a perfect 10 out of 10, and they're the highest monster band in Monster City. So please go check them out right now. They'll link up there. All this artwork is amazing. You can check them out and watch them right now. For now, though, everybody must come to the start. Are you ready for it? Then let's get started. So who is the Moshi Sun? The Moshi Sun, also known as Sunny McFunny, is the son of the world of Moshi Monsters. Always present in the sky and on the overall map, it has played major roles in both season one and season two of the Super Mochi Missions as the prime plot device. He has a singing role in Mr. Studio's music video, Do the Duel, where it got established as a character. Without this get up, the sun never gets a speaking role granted. And yes, I talked about Mr. Studio on episode 270 of the series, so please go check it right now. He is the silly snuffler from the pony set. Please watch right now. Clock attempted to destroy the sun in season one, mission 10, Super Mochi Showdown. Later in season one, later in season two, mission ten, cosmic countdown. Their solar power was used to heat up Mount Cinema in an attempt to flood Monster City. In Mock Top 20 Pop, they appear with a green nose. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you about to see? It's totally unreal. Moving on. Scared of here. Name is Mo Name is Moshi Sun, Species of Sun, and that's pretty much it. Moving on to the personality. They have been portrayed very within the franchise in both appearance and how they act around said appearance. Do the duo, they have a more suave approach to their masculine red appearance, and it's also the first time it has direct interaction with characters below in which they react to it. In season one and two, they seem sort of befuddled of all that unfolds, possible due to their inactivity to stop it. In the movie, they were saddened when Mr. Zoodle has son has supposedly fallen in the, has supposedly fallen to the death, expressed with near crying expression as they function as the horizon. I know it's very interesting. Final for the gallery, then we have some pictures of the Moshi Sun. We have the we have the little forty nine trophy of the Moshi Sun. We have we have the Moshi Sun in Blur Beach. We have a Moshi matchup card. Yeah, we have a matchup card for the Moshi Sun. I don't know which uh, series it's taken from, but that's very interesting. We, we have the Moshi Sun sitting on the map. What indicated pointers or indicated directions? North, northeast, south, uh, north, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, southwest. <laughs> Man, that's right. North, northeast, east. Southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we have we have the Moshi Sun taking uh, a and do the deal. I love it. We have the Moshi Sun as seen and showing the amazing place to raise him. To raise, wearing the straw hat, and we have the uh, Moshi Sun seen in Mata Mischief, wearing uh, which has a green nose. So, yeah, might be a lot. That's the end of the Moshi Sun, ladies and gentlemen. Five last for the character. Mm, I'd love to say that. Just like expected so far, the Moshi Sun is definitely one of the best characters I ever thought of. I thought it would be, but yes, you get the point. I'd love to see how it unfolds, and that's pretty good. I'll see what's there. I'm rating both. I'm rating the Moshi Sun with a score of nine out of ten. Awesome, a totally awesome character. But you get the point. Anything can happen here when you put your mind straight into your points, and and don't ever mention it for sure. Guy, good for that. But yeah, that's only for my personal conservative opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree with that opinions in the comment section down below. With that being said, thanks for watching. I know it's not a Moshi Monsters, but if you hope you had a blast. We'll see you tomorrow for another second episode of the series as we close out another Boshling set. Oh my gosh. And don't forget, Logo History Moshi is tomorrow. Episode 11 will be out sooner than I think. Also, episode 333 of Logo History will be out tomorrow. That'll be about Nirvana. So, be on the lookout for that as well. For now, everybody must come to And thank you all for watching. I'm going to such as you for yourself. And I will see you tomorrow on Moshi Monsters by V. That's right. We're fine. We get to close out another Boshling set tomorrow. Episode 427. It's about. Freddy the Fuckity Wuckity out of the Fuzzy set. That's right. The final launching in this set. And we're going to take a look at it in the next episode. We started the set with. We started the set all the way down, all the way down with. 
Fucking the the fucking the rebel lamb a ding dong on episode 131. Then you can see on and on and on to our next watching, which is a uh, Quincy the Freddy fuzzy face. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Quincy was on uh, episode 326. Then we took a look at the Super Mario Link Ramsey, the mischievous mountain on episode 330. And then, and then most recently, Snuggy, the cuddly whipple on episode 383. Now, we're about to meet the final Mario that said, and that's the ready. Besides, the ready is already a star of his own sleep story. Love story for a lost sock. Now, we reacted to on episode 49 of Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. And was told by Will Huggins, so please go check out the video right now. If you haven't seen it, then come back because we take a look at the ready. So we can see what we what the ready can do. So with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for episode 4 and 4 to 27. And so take a look at the ready. The talking to you, walking to you. The final watching to come out of the fussy set. Until then, I'll be going to Please remember to leave a like, share the video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to miss a new video. Please subscribe to the notifications to miss another new video for me as we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching today. Have an awesome day. And I'll speak to you guys again next time. I'll be going to send you off. For Boshi Monsters Variety, until next time, thanks for watching. Like, fair, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Laters!